this formation here is going to take you from rank two to rank one or from rank five to rank three. Whatever difference you need to make, this is the formation for you. I've used many different ones. This 442 is completely different and it's similar to the 4231, but I find this one is a little bit more progressive, it's a little bit more attacking. So let me explain. Let's keep it simple. Balance, you want your width from 42. I mean, depth you can play around. I like around 65, 60, somewhere around there. That's what's perfect for me. You can go quite high with this formation just because you've got two banks of four in front is ideal. You already know if you've seen any other video, direct passing. That's the one. It's not too far off, as I said, the 4231. This one here, right there. Head over, check that one out after as well, and try to find the balance that you find most comfortable. But this one here, width, play around with the width again, especially on attacking. It's not really too strict. I like around 60, 65 again. You'll find that's a sweet spot. The rest of it, that's all for you. Players in the box, I go six. I think that's the perfect balance to get them in. But when we look over, Make sure it is the one with the brackets too. So you want two DMs just to get that bank of four to make sure you are strict with it. When you go on to the strikers, it's quite simple. Nothing fancy. Just keep them as they are. You can have them on stay forward. You can play around with it a bit. Why players, you do want them to get in behind. That is going to be key. I promise you that and get into the box. I do this on a lot of formations. You want them to be deep into the box. You want to create so much an overload in the box. You want little options for triangles. You will notice from the right-hand side when the ball's on the left, he'll make that cutting run and he'll get in behind. You need that. Both your midfielders, this is the key. You want them on stay back whilst attacking. You do want, you can have a play around with that cutting passing lanes and stuff. I find it a bit extreme and a bit excessive. Two good DMs, they're going to be absolutely fine at it. Both cover and centre, but one of them you need to make sure they are on deep line playmaker. This is your outlet. When you're counter-attacking, you'll realise that you need them both at different levels. You can't have them both flat together. One needs to be there because you'll play a triangle pass in. He can fire it off that way or switch pass. You need diagonals on this game. It's your only way out. Back line, completely unstable back whilst attacking, but your two full backs... You want them on overlap as well because when them options do come, when your wide player is getting behind, you want your fullbacks to go. So make sure you do have that. Don't sleep on that part. It is key. You can have join on attack. You can play around with all that if you really want to go for it. If you maybe lose and you don't want to. But again, I've got another one. I'll pop it up there. Go check that video out. So many little tactics you can change in game just to give you that little edge. But make sure you keep her, come for crosses, sweep a keeper, you know, all the simple stuff, all the basics. Make sure you have them there. I'm going to give a bit of a rundown on some of these tactics. So as you see, when I win the ball back, this is what I'm talking about. You need to make sure your players aren't level. You need passes. Watch the other DM. He drops into that little gap. Quick triangle passes. Off I go. These are constant. When you win the ball back, you need that guy. Look, he comes and gets the ball. Quick pass off. That's going to be your key. If you can't get that down in this FIFA by now, I promise you, you're still going to struggle. You need to make sure you're constantly finding triangle passes, little areas, ignore the finish, don't look at it. But you that's, that's it. You just need to make sure you're creating so many little scenarios. I promise you, you will get win after win after win with this kind of formation. Play around with it. You can tweak a few things. That's the main thing with a lot of people with formation. They kind of stick to it way too strict. You know slightly you're better when you're slightly out wide. And you, if you're really good at skills, go wider, isolate people. But the basics of the shape you need to keep as they are because you'll get areas like this where you're overloading the box and you've got people in there. So trust the process. But triangle passes in the centre of the pitch and look at the runs. This is what I'm talking about. One of your strikers will drop in. That's why you don't want them both on getting behind. You want one to be able to drop in. The other will go long and then you attack with three. That's why it's similar to the 4-2-3-1. But as you see here, so many little scenarios. Just stay patient. Is a bit rushed, but you create so many springs that go forward. Every time they trigger, as soon as one person goes, it triggers and someone else goes. Look at the areas. Look at the width. This is why I go 60 to 65 width. You want it wide because you're going to make so many little areas. And again, see that deep line playmaker because I want to drop it into him, into the centre mid. You want at all times triangles. That is simple. You want to go from point here to here to get over there. It's not hard. It's the simplest way to play FIFA. And if you are struggling with skills and all that kind of stuff, keep it simple. This is the best way to do it. You don't want to overload it and you don't want to complicate it. Ignore the finishing though. Please stop. Don't look at the finishing. Just look at the way. When I get on the ball, that deep line playmaker, 
he creates a triangle. You see, there's triangles. You could draw triangles all over this pitch. You could really create so many scenarios where there's triangle passes. And that's all it is. Close your legs. You'll find areas. You'll find so many little things. Just please, just make sure you remember triangles. If you don't take anything from this video, you're going to take triangles. I promise you that. But this is it. This 4-4-2 with the two DMs is very similar, as I said, to the 4 2 3 one. I know that. It just has the two up front that will bounce off each other a little bit more. When you have one slightly in behind, one will start to drift or they may be getting too close together. This way, you're spreading it and you've got that line of four that loops along the top. Similar to a 4-2-4. Four, like four, four. Similar to that way, but a little bit safer at the back. You can see here, that four are very progressive. They're very high up the pitch. So just trust in it. Don't allow it to kind of throw you off. And you're just going to find constant little areas constant goals these goals in the box are going to come flooding in for you you will have so many people bombing into the box you won't know what to do at first that's why you need the two dms because they're not going to just attack the box and flood it even more they're going to sit back so you can play it into them and play it out again and you'll find in and around the box just popping back and forwards just taking your time and make sure you've got dribblers make sure you've got confident people and i promise you you'll be absolutely fine you'll get to that next level so that's enough for me there as well just trust the process, trust the video, give it a go. Make sure you like, you comment, let me know how it goes for you. And please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much.